Hi, my name is <clears throat> Vicente Cruz, uh, event and fundraising coordinator for the Oakland Greens. And this is our June public monthly general meeting. And our first uh, item on the agenda is virtual events. And what we have reported on that is once uh, we're back up and running online, we're moving the virtual events to the last Sunday of the month to uh, keep that fresh in people's minds. Uh, this is really uh, not having another real computer and graphics control and everything has really like hurt us. Um, and as far as like, you know, keeping it up, I, if it wasn't for, I think, Instagram, we'd probably be out altogether um, and still some things on Facebook. Um, but yeah, so we're going to move that to last Sunday night. We canceled the movie nights until next year and we'll have to come up with a disclaimer, I think, as far as assumed risk. Uh, I don't think that COVID is going away at all. And I mean, I believe that doesn't seem like the government has any sort of plan on how to deal with it. So anyway, so we're finished off this year, especially since we had the computer malfunction uh, or couldn't malfunction, just one died, um, moving the virtual events till uh, the last Sunday of the month. Does anyone have any questions on that particular agenda item? No, easy. Um, oh, yeah, go ahead, Greg. You mean the last Sunday of July or last Sunday of June? Uh, <clears throat> well, I don't have a, the computer yet, so it would not be June. It okay. Be, and once the computer is set up, we hope by July, definitely by August. Okay. Yeah. Um, next one is just tabling and outreach. Um, which we have not really been, I have not been doing. Uh, we did, I did 200 voter guides. I don't know, I think Dale did another 200, is that about right? You think you got 200 out? It's four. 400, so 600 on our, on our end. Uh, we hope again to get, we have all the materials and everything, we just have not, not been out there doing it. Any questions on tabling and outreach? This will be the quickest meeting ever. Oh, seeing none. Uh, so the next one on the agenda item is the computer. Uh, oh, yes, go ahead, Greg. It, it's not really directly related to tabling, but it's, you know, uh, uh, another thing about getting out of the community is um, maybe I should have added it as an item about the Parker School. Do, oh, actually, do have, oh, you know. I, I heard that I heard that they had made the, 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 the Oakland the uh, the school district wants to kick them out. They gave them some kind of notice, and then uh, the the occupiers had some demands, and so it looks like it might be a confrontation soon or something. Yes, and <clears throat> thank you so much. I'm not. Uh, I will admit I'm phoning it in, kind of today. Um, so uh, the Oakland Greens did do an actual broadcast from Parker School a few days ago. Um, Kyle was down broadcasting. Uh, on uh, and I was on live here on live and asking questions. I uh, not ironically, but uh, funny the uh, security down there now and who also is uh, doing all of the cafeteria work uh, for the kids that are down there for this the sit-in and uh, reopening of the public school uh, was actually one of my students. <laughs> Uh, was not in, in my programs, but was one of my students I had for, I definitely had in classes and knew them well. And of course, they remembered me um, and we did too. I have not had an update since then, um, admittedly, uh, but um, I did hear that as well, Greg, that of course they are, because, you know, they never really uh, had, in my view, the actual support. Uh, when I was on the, and it's actually on our Instagram page, shout out for the 14 people that will watch on YouTube, and that is Oakland underscore greens on Instagram, uh, and you can see uh, that particular uh, live broadcast is shared on our media. Um, I had said what I would say, had suggested to them, because they did get a small amount of money, I mean, uh, for, for this type of direct action, uh, it was a good amount of money, I would say that they leave and restart and do it all over again, even if you had to like actually literally break into the school to reopen it, but actually do it more organized. Um, because, you know, when you do this type of direct action, like when we did it at Lakeview for what, 28 days, um, 
you know, it, it, it took months and months of planning to do. And that was, you know, with a staff of 15, we might have had uh, 15 full-time people who were there all the time. And then you got teachers and kids coming in and things during the day um, and would have said, hey, I would, you know, completely just shut down and restart. Um, and you have money to do it. So you could plan your food, even, you know, whatever. There's, there's way more uh, opportunities <clears throat> if you went back and actually organized it um, and made it sustainable. I, I'm not a, you know, and this has been something that the Oakland Greens uh, have been talking about for since 2012, like actions just for action's sake. Like if it's not sustainable, like I would want to go in like, okay, and let's a month at the minimum, three months would be great. Three months would be fucking awesome where you can in media and just getting the generation and just getting the word out over and over and over. Oops, sorry, Torga. Torga is trying to come in. Torga. Torga is trying to come in. Um, over and over and over again. So I haven't seen that, but it wouldn't surprise me. You know, I'm, and if and again, if I were them with the, what do they probably have six people on that? I, I, that's not, uh, doesn't seem like a wise thing to get arrestable over, you know, again, it would be better to restart, but I will um, endeavor to check in uh, with Kyle. Maybe he'll show up or whatever we can uh, find. And I could actually just try and go by there. I live fairly close. Um, anything else, questions or comments about Parker or tabling and outreach in general? No. Oh, I guess actually I will add just in general, like I'm always wearing our t-shirts just out and about. Um, in the neighborhood, um, and you know, people know me for, of course, my car, um, but you know, know me for that as well. Uh, so, I mean, we do try and at least there's that one. Anything else? Table outreach. Not seeing any. Uh, so the next one on the agenda is the on the <laughs> on the agenda is uh, the computer. And uh, good news on that. I bet it's going to ship on Tuesday. The holdup was, um, which in in the end, uh, shout out to uh, Yaz Eleven and to uh, that people don't use DVDs that much anymore. Um, I'm thinking of it as a <clears throat> some we could burn DVD 4Ks and then like have them like for donations or whatever, or whether it be snippets of meetings or actions that we actually once we get back out there doing or discussions of the movie nights and things like that. Uh, so, um, and it, the, what I picked was back ordered. So I changed that order. It was a little bit more expensive. Um, so, uh, so, but then, yeah, but it's, it's already paid for and all done. Uh, so if anyone, also the 14 people want to uh, go over and we'll go over this more in uh, treasury as well, um, go to uh, oaklandgreens.org and donate. You can go right to our PayPal account if you want to uh, mail also and the Oakland Greens website has our PO box, please uh, mail us a check. Um, when we see the report, uh, we're not not broke, but you know, again, I want to always try to keep it up at a thousand. So we will have a new computer and with, uh, you know, ancestors willing and the crick don't rise, uh, we will be up and running for the July one. I, I doubt that too, because I'm also trying to um, do some sort of, uh, of vacation in there too, to kind of recharge. Everything has been kind of, uh, inflation has hit me for the first time. Uh, like I said, COVID is still raging. Um, work has, you know, shows have canceled and shit like that. So it's been a big even more of a struggle, right? When there too, which is also another thing that frustrates about even for us in our social justice work. So even as much as I bitch about like we not having, you know, haven't gotten over the hump to get more people involved, you know, we were definitely splashing and uh, Oakland Greens, you know, movie nights were self-sustainable. People knew that the virtual events were, um, I also think moving them back at nights, even if we do them is better because now people are going outside more often, uh, rightly so. Uh, but we were, it's like we were just about to get there and then some fucking bullshit happens and drags us and we have to end up starting over. The computer dies, you know, or something, something like that too. It really, really frustrates when we're in such a state of emergency. But anyway, I'm hoping to, I know definitely for sure August. Is there any questions or comments about uh, getting the computer back up and running? getting back online. 
seeing none. Uh, next one is our social media report back. Very easy one. Our social media, at least Instagram and uh, Facebook, is still, you know, keep that's probably the big again the thing that's keeping us afloat right now. Uh, YouTube would be included in that social media as well. Uh, people still go to the YouTube channel um, and look at things, and you know, I can see the analytics of people clicking on uh, the music videos. Or what, what? Obviously, what they'd really like is different snippets. So every time we do the monthly public general meeting that there would be a playlist that says everything, just treasury report. Uh, once we get the computer up and running, yeah, I completely was down to want to do that to edit. It wouldn't be that hard of a trick because it would just, again, be just going agenda item by agenda item and then putting those on the YouTube channel. So are there any questions about uh, social media? Seeing none, it's still going to be longer than I thought. Uh, treasury report, actually, we have stuff uh, to do on that. Um, our Zoom renewed, excuse me, and there's some good news on that too. And with that 161 being paid, wait, is this me or is this us? That's us. Uh, right now we are at $464 still in the account. Um, the only uh, big ups and pat on the back is that still $464, like when we first all started, like, you know, that still was considered a lot of money. Um, and so we, and, and that's again, we just uh, spent two. Oh, and the good news, actually, I don't need to show it to you, but I have, have a, uh, we got our uh, name changed on the EIN. We got that corrected to say Oakland Greens. So now I can go to Community Bank of the Bay, our local, um, local bank, not public, but local bank um, that uh, is really, really wanted to work uh, with us and wasn't against us too. And we can move away and then I can get, uh, we can have online uh, banking and looking at every, you know, pretty much going paperless and be able to have access to everything all the time and not have to be such a hassle with having to give blood samples and you know, mother's maiden name to make a deposit even. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so that was really, really good news. And, uh, and so that'll be uh, happening. And I'll probably, I bet I'll email them next week and see, again, if I can just make sure I can get them the, the document. And once they give me the go, it'll probably be in uh, two weeks uh, before I do uh, go away. And then I'll go and take all of our money, the $464 out of uh, Bank of the West and take it over to Community Bank. And it will be a lot, it will be better for us. Uh, any questions on Treasury? None. Oh, that was it. Uh, any announcements? Oops. No, look at that. It was, oh, there you go. Greg, yes, please. Yeah, it's not so much an announcement, more of a question. Just um, I'm wondering if anybody has heard anything about the Oakland School Board elections this fall, except for, of course, Mike Hutchinson got redistricted, so he's going to run again in the new district. But other than that, um because uh you know in theory roughly half half the school board seats are up and right well and, i would say the the biggest fucking surprise and shock is you know this with the scandal going on mike not paying people which really surprises me mm. why would not do that and getting unendorsed by the dsa um <clears throat> other than that i don't you know and admittedly, we Oakland Greens have not been out to try and push this narrative of finding candidates. And right now, uh, you know, we don't have any energy to like find a candidate and actually put them out there. So I haven't heard anything other than, you know, the school system sucks and they're trying to privatize, you know, the same old fucking narrative, but no one wants to talk solutions on it. That's all I know. Yeah, maybe maybe Bill Balderson would know something, but uh, oh, I'm sure yeah. at least about who's running. But I mean, once they start filing paperwork, you know, we can just look that up on the city's website. Um, yeah, if, you, but, if you want, I can do that for next meeting and actually make it an agenda. Well, yeah, I, if, if if you want to see who's filed, but um, the deadline's the, August, the, right? Mid-August. Well, the deadline, yeah, the deadline is. Uh, early August, roughly, but, you know, if people are serious, they would have taken out 
um, mm -hmm. the financial papers already because mm -hmm. you're going to start raising money and right and right. you know maybe Bill would know if uh, more progressive. Obviously, we're, we're interested in more progressive candidates, and of course, we're rapidly getting up against the deadline for them to get their campaigns right. going. So right, yeah, I gotta. If I can find, oh, yeah, go ahead, Dale, please. Yeah, is Greg referring to uh, people who have applied for the appointment position for District 6 because Shanti Gonzalez uh, resigned? Oh, uh, no, I was referring to the Everything. people that are filing for the fall election, although maybe whoever gets appointed will probably file again, but I did hear a Parker, one of the Parker occupiers has, has filed for replacing Sean. Yeah, that's good. I like that idea. What, do you know who, do you? Well, I can't remember her name. If, if you, if you, she's one of the most active ones. If you, right. Yes, I, I know her name and, and it's bothering me that I can't bring it up, but I, I know exactly who you're referring to. It, it is also Joe Velasquez? Oh, is Joe yeah, Vasquez? Run for seven? No, no. Hoel is not the occupier, but right. yeah, I think Hoel may have filed too. Okay. I thought he was involved at the beginning. He definitely was at the Lakeview sit in. He was the, the instigator on that. Yeah, but he's not the one I'm thinking. I'm thinking of one of the moms, one of the right. moms who has kids there and they're not spoken. But that's fine. I've been trying to get Hoel to run for a long time. Um, I think he actually would have a chance like i think he could get people behind him yeah he's I, done that he work, say. I hope he comes and asks us for an endorsement because i if he's for real i'd love to help him okay well we'll, we'll see i mean right and i and i have contact information for him i can actually maybe i'll just ask him i'll just ask him <laughs> I'm not gonna well, if, uh if, if the Parker mom runs too, uh, I hope we have ranked choice voting for school board. <laughs> right, right. Well, it depends on if he's in District 6, because if I remember, if, unless he moved, he would be actually in District 2. I, I think he got redistricted into District or 4. Because he's over by, I think if he hasn't, if he hasn't moved, he's over by Lake Mary. I, I think he applied for Shanti, so I think he got redistricted. Okay, so we have 2 and 6, that sucks. So. See yeah. if we can get him to move. <laughs> need to put you in another district brother <laughs> because we need to make mike the most conservative member on the school board <laughs> <laughs> that that's a that's a i think that's a good uh tagline anything else on that school board or any other announcements no i move we adjourn well this oh, this, this isn't really that you know it's sort of like a, a tangential thing Right. But, uh, 157 years ago today, in a state where I lived in Texas, they freed the slaves. And well, I never really. Way, they, they were free already. It's just Texas just didn't recognize it. Two and a half, it took two and a half years for the, you know, the, the, what is it? The mail moved slow back then. It was Pony Express. Right. There was an email, you know. Just like a... More importantly, I never realized in my life how important and a big deal the Juneteenth celebrations were until I lived in East Texas. Oh, they were super, super huge at the beginning. <laughs> Imagine what it is too, you know. Yeah, through, the, through, the, through the years, through the years. Right. Well, you know, as a anarchist and also like super cynical praying for meteors rather, like I don't know if we deserve to survive as a species, um, I would say that we still are slaves and there's all types of different types of slavery that they have, the prison industrial complex, uh, there's uh, economic slavery that disproportionately uh, affects POAD folks and that could be African diaspora or Asian diaspora. And, you know, it's, it's just every fucking day and no well, one seems to give a shit. It's like, we're so- Think of it this way. <laughs> the, the, on the day they freed the slaves on June, the 19th, 1865, in Galveston. Mm -hmm. At that time, the law of the land was the decision in the Dred Scott case that the descendants of Black Africans had no rights, which the yeah, white yeah. 
had to fucking was yeah, obligated and right. was, had to respect. That's fine because I feel that way about Nazis and racists too. Like I don't think they have any rights that I have to respect. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's true. No, I'm straight up, man. Fucking. I, I mean, I don't know if it's right or wrong. I don't. I wouldn't want to even have that debate. But when somebody tells me that somebody was walking around a swastika somewhere and no, oh, they got punched in the face, like really? That sounds like a fucking very common reaction. <laughs> that sounds like the total. Oh my god! Uh, I was I I jumped into the pool and I got wet. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> that, that never happens, right? Um, so I would. I mean, I, again, I don't know, want to debate whether it's right or wrong or anything like that. But I feel the same way about them that they feel about me. They ain't got. I ain't got. They have no rights that I have to fucking respect. Fuck no. you. Right. And I I think we still should keep keep the rights for. Uh uh a, a trial if if if, if you're going to be uh thrown in the slammer i think you should still have oh, yeah. a, well a, if you can trial. if the authorities can get them before i do yeah fine <laughs> i mean but i mean if it's right in front of me right like i look at the videos and i freak out i'm like no way would i let some fucking prejudice or even have the ability to affect a whole group of people economically racist get within this fucking close yeah no 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 <laughs> never i don't care what you say over there right i'm i'm too old i'm not in my fucking 20s or 30s call me nigger motherfucker bitch call me i mean i don't give a shit but if you get fucking start stepping because i'm not moving and luckily also at this point i say that they're like yeah odo and i aren't moving <laughs> odo and i are standing right here and, and actually you better hope you don't get in like jumping distance because like you don't even have to get as close to my, I'm like, I'm just, he doesn't like Nazis either. He doesn't like prejudiced people. He doesn't like fucking homophobic people. I'm sorry. Not my fault. I didn't train him that way. That's just how he came. <laughs> I just got him to listen to me. Go, no, no, let's, let's leave that racist alone. They're across the street. Don't run over there and bite them. So <laughs> anyway, uh, that was fun. Any other announcements? Well, I'm, I'm just glad we, we don't live in Texas because uh, <laughs> just, well, I think I think as soon as as soon as the Supreme Court issues this uh, uh, abortion ruling, uh, Texas and all these other states are going to turn into what they call theocracies. I mean, they're, you know, they're right. going to. Uh, well, isn't it true in some uh, places where they've had uh, already had races where uh, like local small municipal races where the Republican is already claiming voter fraud? Like that's going to be the whole Republican narrative in the duopoly, right? Um, well, the Republicans yeah, yeah. will just say, "Oh, it's all fraud, no matter what," and rile people up and whatever. And you know, well, I, I mean, uh, I, it's I, always I think... true. I've never been so happy to live in the Bay Area of California before <laughs> in my life until until right now. Even with all the inflation and like, I mean, like my uh, veggie fuel went up four dollars a gallon overnight. Overnight, yeah, because they're still having to transport with diesel, regular diesel to get the veggie oil in. And, you know, food, of course, if you've been to the grocery shop, I saw a guy, what, $362? And I'm like, that does not, you know, look like, <laughs> oh man. So it's just, uh, and then the planet's done with us too. It's just like, what? You know, what's it gonna take to get people out of Starbucks and Walmart? I just, I don't know, man. I hope it's the abortion issue. I hope that does it. Like there has to be a general strike and it would be so uh, man if you could just get fucking a third of the population to just go nope everything probably come crumbling right and just yeah. yeah and not to say to do a rally trying to holler at politicians to do anything because they're not if they were going to do it women's march george floyd all that shit would have been done and too, even for us as uh, POAD folks and social justice folks, the way that they, we should never let the fucking cops manhandle us, fucking brutalize us again. When they let those motherfuckers go in and wipe shit on the fucking wall, didn't do shit. Four fucking cops, four cops and five of them died. The fuck? <laughs> really? We don't peaceful fucking protest, tear gas, be, but they, that's why it is because the cops not only are part of all of those fucking asshole QAnon motherfuckers. They also are fucking cowards, right? Oh, so you'll go beat down a bunch of fucking hippies, quotation mark, right? Fucking peaceful protesters, no weapon whatsoever. You ain't fucking coming when it's fucking 
All of a sudden, it's Palestine and shit. Fucking start throwing bricks at these motherfuckers. Yeah, just too much. But I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what's going to take. Get them the fuck out of Walmart and Starbucks. I don't know. I hope it's abortion. I, I don't know. I have no idea what it'll take whatsoever. Yeah, that's that's a big question. If oh, and we're from here too, some bitch. <laughs> uh, if, if any of us, if any of us knew, yeah. we try to get something going because. Um, I know, and it's just, like I said, I'm just I've been so uh, been depressed. So it's like I, I I like well because again, just by the initial proof, when Dale and I were at Diamond Park, and I was just fucking monologuing, like. Well, in the end, somebody that was at a picnic said, hey, would you come over and talk to my Democratic fucking grandma who's about to register fucking Democrat for the first time and talk to her about like, you know, alternative political parties and everything. So I ended up talking to a whole barbecue group of people, right? You know, so I, I think it works. Again, it's just having the energy and you and definitely don't want it one person out there. Right, uh, one person looks. You just look like a crazy person. <laughs> like a crazy person. You know, you actually you want three to five, but you know, I mean, where we are, where we are. You know, we have to try to. And again, targeting young people. You know, I do like the idea that we're doing too. Instead of oh, we're always going to be here. That oh, we should go and target events. There's a new farmers market in West Oakland. I imagine I will be back on top of my game again. You know, once the my, get my computer and I'm back online and we're. You know, rolling into our events, I, I suspect highly probably that, you know, so again, by August, we'll actually be back out there and we'll be out there until the rains come, you know, and then we'll start over again and hopefully, you know, next year again with movie nights again and, you know, just getting out there and yeah, I'm just doing it, doing it. I think it, that's what I think will at least locally will make a change for us, whether it be uh, getting more people just to even register green or actually people who would come in and help so we don't even have this problem anymore. Um, it should never be in the hands of one person, right? This, when my computer went down, there should have been another someone with a just as powerful computer who could just step up. All the fucking graphics, everyone can have. Like they're not, right? They're all, they're for the Oakland Greens. Right? They're not mine. Um, music, all that shit, right? We should be able to have someone. And that was kind of the next step before you know covid and again computer going down and all that shit too so but you know you know you do what you can i'm only one you know we're only one small group you know we're fucking just a loud at least one person who has a very loud mouth <laughs> very, very loud mouth so we'll see what happens yes greg please actually i i just want to mention uh that Oakland Green should still be proud of itself because uh, it's been going on for how many years now? And uh, in all of the counties in California, all, at least all the ones that the Greens are active in, except for possibly Los Angeles, which of course is an enormous county with umpteen million people. Right. Um, uh, and of course, you know, more Greens than any other county. So right. big. Except for them, I don't think there's any other county in the whole state that has a local. They're just county groups. Right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. And well, even in the GAs, oh shit, that's what I want to do too. Um, is it okay? Because we still have enough money. Can the Oakland Greens pay for my registration for the General Assembly? $25. Is that okay? We're cool? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Um, wh when we were at the last GA, um, I can't remember who messaged me. It was like, oh, it's like you, Alameda, and Santa Clara. Like, <laughs> like are the ones like uh, uh, always seem to be the most active, you know, and how do you do it and all that stuff? I'm like, well, I don't know how they do it. I do it because I'm pissed. I, I just channel my anger that way, whether it be ranting when we're doing monologues or tabling or whatever, too. And, you know, I mean, when we were doing the, when uh, Jan, I don't know, when we were doing the Grand Lake and we had that spot right next to Lassie, all that stuff, man, I loved it when somebody would fucking come by and be like, oh, and it was your fault, the Greens' fault that fucking some Democrat got elected. I'm like, what can fuck? I would love that debate, right? I'd be like, wait, don't walk away. No, 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 no. Get your ass back here. Don't be fucking, don't be fucking walking away some bull, what kind of fucking drive-by shit is that? <laughs> like, let's have the debate. I love it. Love it. 
all the time. I even with our internal stuff, I tried to get them fools to do uh, again, because I believe in this the type of show format that I think could be a good fundraiser, but wanted a real debate. Like, oh, I would go to the Laney College debate, debate, debate team, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, Laney College debate team, slow down, Vicente, and have them be judges. We actually agree on a format. There's actually a winner and loser. Uh, the winner, and plus when they were talking whatever that bullshit that they wanted to um, get a lawsuit, you know, it's like, oh, well, if you win the fucking prize money, you can fucking, there you go. There's your seed money right there, right? If we win, fucking, we're, you know, paying for dinners for the movie nights for the next three years or whatever. So, <laughs> California committee, calamity. I'm sorry, we're on Instagram as well. I said the things that kept us afloat. Um, so, but yeah, I, I would love to have that. I think it still is a great uh, show idea. Uh, a good fundraiser idea to actually do that format and you know there's so many things that you know if we had more energy then people could definitely you know, be over it too but who knows though we may actually end up having uh, the money if the county decides to let me do it next year we're going to talk about that excuse me um at the next meeting uh for those of you again uh, 14 that are watch on youtube uh seven on instagram uh, if you come to After the Green Sunday, the second Sunday of each month for the county general meeting, uh, we're going to be debating having me be uh, like the artistic director for the Green Sundays and bringing proposals uh, for what the comments be. So uh, you can imagine uh, to the audience um, that I at least, again, my first own devices will be you know, very exciting and be coming and talking just like uh, the virtual mm -hmm. events that we do for the Oakland Greens, trying to come up with uh, more uh, topics. Again, get butts in the seats as it were. Um, so I encourage everyone to come to those and see um, even that you know, like nobody's perfect. We are internal struggles as well, but you know, I will still stand by the statement and my educated guess and opinion that uh, we do have some of the most uh, individual uh, political thinkers um, when it comes to the social justice movement. And I would put that up against anyone. Again, I love to debate, but I surely fucking would in a heartbeat anytime. So if anyone, again, watching this, you think you're big and bad enough, come on, <laughs> please beg you. At least let me test out the show idea. Um, again, so we're, we're just, rambling if uh, i have nothing else the agenda we've already uh, done it if there aren't any comments i mean we can adjourn at any time but i mean i'm, I'm i ain't got nowhere to go <laughs> or anything but yes dale quick a quick question about the uh san francisco mime troupe and oh yes it's, uh, shows in, in the east bay what, what piece of literature are we handing out if we go well, if, uh, if we go, the Oakland Greens have a county green party literature. We have an education piece. We have a police piece. Ooh, and I know we have at least three other pieces. Don't, I can't remember. For the what. county? We, for the county we have. Yes, we have an Alameda County one, yes. Yeah, yeah, that was from last summer. We, we, we like had went through uh, here in Oakland Greens with them i guess it then got approved by the county we just never got a chance to, i mean we printed it but then COVID hit so we have that education police oh uh, oakland green just a general one for our for our local specifically uh that has the website social media like different things we're doing what else Fuck, we have something else too yeah, I can't, sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head. See, there's another reason why I need my computer because I'd be able to just, I'll just tell you, click, <laughs> just click on the fucking folder. <laughs> I can tell you everything that we have uh, that's already uh, updated and, and approved and ready that we, and we do have uh, printed already. Um, it's not here. It's actually in the storage with all the other storage stuff as well already. Um, I, I did transport the table and everything over there. So yeah, that's what we'd be handing out. And I'd have to look at the dates. I, and I feel even on this like jinky laptop though, I just don't feel like really connected uh, being online. And I'm like, I just don't know anything. <laughs> Again, my brain is somewhere else. My, my brain is on these you know external hard drives that I can't plug into anything. <laughs> um, because uh, whatever the dates, and I could actually look that up too on what the dates are 
you know, we've done. Uh, but you know, Dale and I do talk, and I can definitely put in an email too. I'll I'll look at the email and or, the, or their website and see uh, which ones are in Oakland and when fits on the calendar, and we'll just schedule it. We'll just do it. Yes, Greg. Um, did you all see or at least hear about the um, press release that went out that let people know the uh, success, uh, election result success for the left unity slate? Because um, that might be another thing that, um, whether it's at the uh, Mime Troop or anywhere else, uh, people might be interested to know that, you know, um, we did this uh, kind of historic thing and it turned out right that both parties uh, got well over, you know, what they needed. Um, so the press release um, that was issued was it, maybe four, four or five days after the election mm. had the uh, numbers in it. And uh, actually almost all those numbers have gone up since then too. So, you know, if is, that on, is that on their uh, website somewhere? Is it on yeah, it's the on the state party website. Um, I think if you go to the home page, um, they have a list of uh, statements and press releases, and it's you know like the, maybe the number two one now. Okay, well, I'll keep that because I can print out black and white still off of this you know little ghetto tron I have. So, um, but yeah, you can print it out and hold up and hand it out there as well. Yeah. I still think it's, I think we have a couple of weeks. We'll see. I'll look at it. I'll find out. Yeah, the, the first, the first mime troop is uh, just before July 4th, like July 2nd or 3rd, and, and those are in Berkeley. So I'm Berkeley. Yeah. So I don't know when the ultimate. Yeah, I'll find out. I'll find out. Okay. Any other comments, questions? No? Okay, I'll move we adjourn. Yes. Yes. All right. See you next month, everyone. Thanks for coming. Good to see you, Torger. Thanks. Uh, good to see you Bye. guys. Bye, everybody. And this is Vicente Cruz, the Oakland Greens event and fundraising coordinator. And you have just watched the June public general meeting. And we will see you on the flip side. Peace.